A statue of my brother. How quaint. survived Freya's absence, but a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. He didn't create a truce through diplomacy alone. His god, his very presence is what healed this land and allowed peace to break through. But once he left, he had to have known what would happen. Well, he had good reason to leave. Some jackass convinced his sister to marry a madman. These crystals contain their own light. You're right. Normally we'd have to provide our own. Perhaps slotting a crystal on the opposite side could shed some light on this mystery. You said monuments are useless. Why restore this one? It was hidden for some time. Perhaps now it can serve as a reminder. Aye. Nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled, well-lit marble. Like we can read the inscription now as well. The light from the crystals. It is in the sand now. Would you look at that? Freyr's gift endures after all. Or should I say, his presence? Here, the peace was fragile. Surely a bit of extra light in the desert isn't enough to make it last. Before I met Faye, I could not imagine a life of peace. After her death, in our travels to Yotunheim, I found peace on my own. It remains my responsibility to make it last. Perhaps the elves will find peace again one day, even without Freya's guidance. His presence continues to guide them, whether they realize it or not.
Ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. Oh, they would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. Have an interest in botanicals now? Another sleep and troll, courtesy of the dwarves. I must say, I think we make a good team. With my brains, Betos is brawn, and my lady's. Uh, Wisdom, magic, ability to tolerate you for long periods of time. I was going to say brutality. That works. Oh. 
Curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Lemire. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. Well, you can say that again. Yeah. Sooner or later, I'm gonna have to find a lock to put them in. A light elf statue in the desert. Odd. Aye. Here, bet this is the sanctum Big Veer spoke of in Van Eyn. <laughs> ah, another of Cavassier's poems.
The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. Perhaps we can bring these two out. Animals back to Vanaheim. Or Midgard, even. Specky and Vanna could use the company. We have kennels. It would not go well for them. Once a predator becomes accustomed to a land, it is cruel to move them. I suppose you're right. It just seems lonely out here. It is peaceful. They have each other. It is enough. Freya, what you said about the flaw that Pinto built into Asgard's wall, did he explain how it works? How do we exploit it? We don't. He said Surtur would know what to do. And if Surtur's approaching Asgard's wall... Then it is already Ragnarok. Ah, lost it. I hoped it might have given us another way. Prepare for a fight.
something is coming, and it's not happening. Ah! Ah! Something is coming, and it's not happy.
Your guess is as good as mine. Imprisoning a great. Can't decide whether to be impressed or horrified. Either way, it is over now. A token. A badge of honor. The elves made a few of them. Hang them up outside their dwellings. Show their support for my brother. I never asked how it felt to lose your head. What would you have me say? Does it tickle? Merely curious. 
If you wish to derive some satisfaction from my pain, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Kratos swung swift and true, didn't you, brother? I felt nearly a scratch. Shame. I've always wondered, why was Freya so revered here so quickly upon his first arrival? Well, to begin with, it wasn't his first arrival. Very few know this, but Freya was one of the earliest visitors to Alfheim, back in the dawn of realm travel. Another time. We must focus. Jewelry. Oh? Put it on one of my horns. Let's see if I can pull it off. No. That's all my brother's tributes. Would you prefer we hang on to them? Do what you will. If Freyr didn't bother taking them when he left Alfheim, he wouldn't mind us selling them to the dwarves. Archive of knowledge. No sign of the light elves. For now. Maybe they've left for the day. And we can browse at our leisure. <clears throat> so, these are the Valiant Schematics, eh? You know of him. Aye. One of the most gifted dwarven smiths around. Until he developed a conscience, anyhow. These texts alone are not enough to end the Elven War. But restricting their access only serves those who wish to prolong it. Taking a page out of Odin's book. Aye. Quite the advantage for the Light Elves. <laughs> Vigvir spoke of an exile of the same name. Odds are he'd like a gander at that particular text. All this knowledge of their ancestors, their shared history, poetry, just sitting here, forgotten. <laughs> what a waste. It appears the librarian would like a word. Lata Framborg. Sounds like she wants that journal back. No. Use a shield strike, brother!
away. Our ally wishes to read this journal. We are taking the book. <clears throat> I'm impressed. Thought you were going to end it. When last we traveled here, after Faye passed, I killed an elf of great importance. The ramifications were dire for his people. I do not wish to make the same mistake twice. Earlier you mentioned the fair was one of Alfheim's first visitors. Care to elaborate? I wasn't in these lands at the dawn of realm travel. Well, we believed for a long time that all the giants had died in the flood, until one of them appeared in Vanaheim. Her name was Gerd, and she came offering to teach us the secrets of traveling between realms using Bifrost light. Not now. <laughs> 